Hi viewers, today I'm going to be showing you how to take out the electronic throttle body on the 2002 to 2008 Toyota Corolla or the Corolla Matrix. I'm going to give it a good clean and put it back in. This is an essential tune-up item that you should do every once in a while. We're going to see the level of carbon buildup when I take this out. So this is an electronic throttle body. As you would notice, there are no cables. There's certain things to take into account when cleaning an electronic throttle body. I'll cover those when I get to the cleaning bit. This video is also going to double for if you're fighting any throttle body related codes or you need to replace your throttle body. This procedure will also apply to other Toyotas with the 1ZZ FE engine. Without further ado, let's get this. A dirty or poorly functioning throttle body will cause a number of drivability issues, poor acceleration, poor idling, stalling, and poor fuel mileage, as well as some others. The tools you're going to need cab cleaner, size 10 wrench, needle nose pliers, old toothbrush. To start off, we're going to be removing this air hose held by two clips here one here, one here. So you go ahead to get this top clip. That's slack enough. Get the lower one. Just for a bit of room, I'll take this off. This should help. Yeah. Disconnect this hose, it's held by this clamp. Oh, twist this out or wiggle it out, whichever one. You notice I haven't disconnected any of these hoses, I'm just going to set it aside. Yeah. Next is to disconnect this electrical connector for the throttle body. There's a tab you depress, this has broken, but yeah, you just take that apart. Throttle body is held by four bolts. One, two, three, and four. These are size 10 bolts. Go ahead to get those. This one is a bolt. This one is a stud. I'm going to take off these cooling lines. You just take out the clips, break the seal. Yeah, that's broken now. You can see the coolant is already beginning to come out. And that's one of the reasons why I took these bolts out first, because I'm going to use them to plug these cooling lines. Break the seal as well. Also getting a larger size bolt. Just in case these ones are not the size, something tells me they may not be. Yeah, so I guess there's not. So I'll just put this clamp back over. So you go ahead to remove this one as well. I couldn't find a similar sized bolt, so I'm using a punch. Put that back. With that, your throttle body is good to come out. So I just pull it this way. While you work on the throttle body, find something and plug this. On the front face, doesn't look that bad. On the rear face, yeah, definitely a lot of varnish and build up there. Important thing when cleaning electronic throttle bodies, throttle bodies generally, you want to keep the part that has the throttle position sensor, you want to keep it facing up so that when you spray, it doesn't go down this track here into that electronic component. Secondly, you don't want to push this butterfly valve too much because that's electronically controlled pushing this anyhow can mess up the positioning so here we go okay. carb cleaner so you can see how dirty that is So turn to the other side. We're going with an old toothbrush just to scrub a bit. And then the last blast. So this is looking much cleaner now. 
let's turn our attention to the intake manifold there's an o-ring here you really want to make sure that you don't damage this and you're careful with your use of cab cleaner around this o-ring so that it doesn't deteriorate spray cab cleaner onto a rag and then going to clean a bit really not so much you can do here that's gone that done we're good to put this back together guide it in through these studs put on the stud knots guide in the bolts talk on this is 30 newton meters replace the coolant lines Reattach the electrical connector. Reattach the intake hose. Remember to reconnect this into this breeder tube. Reattach this end. So removing the air filter makes it easier. And then you replace the air filter. Next thing is to relearn the throttle and also to bleed the cooling system since air has gone into the cooling lines from the hoses that we disconnected. We're going to start the car up. So that's normal, usually Toyota's after cleaning the throttle body to do all this kind of funny things i'll just disconnect the negative battery terminal leave it for five minutes and then come back and relearn the idle that usually takes care of this reconnected the battery so car is now up to operating temperature and actually it's idling quite nicely i'm just going to let you know how to do it then either way shut the car off Take out the key, then put the key in, turn the ignition on, first time, turn it off. Don't bring out the key, turn the ignition on again, turn it off. And then on the third time, you start the car. Ensure the handbrake is on, put the car in drive. And then leave it in drive you're going to leave it in this position for about five minutes at the end of five minutes put the thing back in park and after that your idols should be pretty much relearned to bleed the coolant system you just open this put it on the first setting which is here we're not going to turn it all the way start the car turn the heat to max this ensures that the coolant circulates all around through the engine. Raise the car to about 2000 RPMs and hold it for about hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds. Do that 3 times and then you're done. Allow the car cool down, tighten the radiator cap back to normal. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If it's been helpful, do give the video a thumbs up, give it a like. Catch you on the next one.